2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to this year's Q School Final. Without further ado, let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside my mate Rich Beam and Beamer. This is a nerve-wracking event, isn't it? Absolutely, Luke. These players at the end of this event need to finish in the top 50 to secure their Corn Ferry Tour cards. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Wow, that was just striped. Second shot here on the first. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Judging it beautifully. He's in a share of fifth position. This hole is a par five. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score in this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. This shot here from about 240 yards. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Yeah, well played. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Yeah, guys, he's looking at around 17 feet. This is their look at birdie. Well, that'll play. Currently one under for the day. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Par three, measuring 208 yards, a difficult par three to say the least. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Needs this one to kick right. That's just inside the range. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt, especially from that distance. But it didn't quite drop. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore.
Second shot here on the fourth. That's a good looking shot there. Good chance this one, right on six feet. That's half a chance of being hold this one. And that will drop in for Birdie. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Well, out of the bunker and onto the green, but still a fair bit of effort to go here. Now, a long-range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Come on, don't be shy. And you hold it. What a monster. This player is putting for fun. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Just one off the lead after that hole. I'm pretty sure this play will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. That's a bit out of shape. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston's a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Uh, right into the water on that one. Time now for the fourth shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. Yep, that'll work, that's fine. 11 feet left to the hole. They'll be happy to get this in the hole. This for bogey. If it's up, it could be in. Okay, steady now. And this one will be for double bogey. Currently one under for the event. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back at it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters.
That dog will hunt. Time for the second shot here at the seven. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Three shots off the lead. Oh, well done. An opportunity here to move into a tie for first. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to two under. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. This hole is a par three. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side and the green is usually very firm, a tough, ask going with the hybrid just needs this one to kick right that should set up another chance looking for back-to-back -back birdies here Luke What's in front of them, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Oh, so close, but an easy par. And that brings to an end that hole. He's currently tied for first. Here we go. We're beginning the ninth hole now. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. That's heading for the fairway. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He is right on the 150-yard marker here. Choosing the 9-iron here. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left. Pressure packed, to say the least. A couple under at this stage. Currently second place. quality shot that one a chance to move into first place on the leaderboard 
This one's online. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Step aside, everyone else. Now number one. Leading by a shot after that hole. Time to play one of the one-shotters. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Yeah, nicely played. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And down she goes. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. You'll need it. Absolutely tattooed that drive. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. He's currently tied for the lead. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. An opportunity for a booty here. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Wonderful shot. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Par four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four. <laughs> Nicely done. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Opting for the 9-iron. Can they get a little ground draw here? A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Looking for another birdie here. Well, nicely done. Holds the punt for back-to-back -back birdies. I don't like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. He sits in first position. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four and you'd be happy to walk away with that score handy effort that one the 14th hole at tpc boston is a par five for the locals a converted par four for the tournament rich and it's a strong second shot down the hill second shot very narrow opening to this green if you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made.
That's a super shot. That's another green in regulation. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And that will take him to six under. Our current leader is up by three shots. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Par four, 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. Oh, look at this soar through the air. Around 110 yards to go. Currently leading by three. That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Our leader is enjoying a three stroke advantage. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, just missed. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. He's got this for his part. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green, actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Love watching this player around the greens. Leading by three strokes now. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green. Big, deep bunker right and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Getting ready to play their third. Now a three shot lead over the field.
This one is chewing fiber. That was special. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. Ooh, right by the hole. Okay, so luckily they've got another chance to get the win here. And they've done it. What an effort that is, winning Q School in what's a pressure-packed tournament. Yes, and hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.